When you think of dinosaurs, you probably think of the classic T-Rex and Triceratops, or equally well-known ones that look pretty normal by dinosaur standards. But I can assure you that there were plenty of bizarre looking dinosaurs living alongside them. Here are the 5 weirdest looking dinosaurs. Number 1. Carnotaurus Carnotaurus, which translates as flesh-eating bull, was a large theropod dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous. This dinosaur is known from a skeleton found in Argentina, and is actually one of the most understood theropods from the southern hemisphere. However, it looks quite odd with a short, robust skull that features two spiked crests, a long body and tiny, likely vestigial arms. The fingers on the animal's forelimbs were actually fused and unable to move, making them pretty useless, and people make fun of T-Rex's arms. The horns on the skull were quite flat on top, which has led some to think that Carnotaurus may have used these on rivals of the same species. It has been suggested that two Carnotauruses may have slowly pushed against each other using the top of their skulls, which could be why the horns are so flat. Number 2. Amargosaurus Amargosaurus, meaning Lizard of La Amarga, lived from about 129 to 122 million years ago, in the early Cretaceous of Argentina. The skeleton of Amargosaurus that was found, and is still the only one known, is quite complete, and even has a partial skull, which is unusual as sauropod skulls are not often discovered. The most notable feature on Amargosaurus are the neural spines on its neck. These neural spines were extremely tall, tapering at the tips, and formed a double row along the dinosaur's neck. The largest spines measured 60 centimeters in length. Many theories on the use of these spines have been put forward, such as for defense, display, or even housing an air sac. There is evidence on the spines of a covering, possibly skin, which could indicate the presence of some sort of sail, or they could have been covered in keratin and used to defend against predators. Number 3. Shuvuia Shuvuia was a tiny theropod from Mongolia. It lived during the late Cretaceous, about 75 million years ago, and its name means desert bird in Mongolian. Shuvuia looks very strange with its two single clawed hands, however these served an important role in the animal's lifestyle. This dinosaur most likely used its bizarre forelimbs to break open insect nests, a theory which is further supported by the animal's unusually movable jaw. Together with its claws and snout, it would be able to catch and eat the insects. Number 4. Nothronychus Nothronychus, which means slothful claw, was a large theropod at about 5 meters long that lived during the late Cretaceous of North America. This dinosaur, along with the other Therisnosaurs, looks extremely weird. It possessed a long neck similar to a sauropod, but walked in its hind limbs like a theropod, and had enormous claws unlike any other dinosaurs. It also had a large pot belly, supported by bulky hind limbs and a relatively short, lightly feathered tail. Nothronychus's claws could grow to a length of 30 centimeters and may have been used to pull down branches that the animal would then eat. Number 5. Epidexipteryx Epidexipteryx, meaning display wing, was a small theropod dinosaur that lived during the Middle Jurassic of China. The remains are the earliest example of ornamental feathers in the fossil record, and the animal itself was a very weird creature. With a strange looking skull that featured long, forward pointing teeth at the front of the mouth, bizarre ribbon like tail feathers, and perhaps even a skin membrane on its arms for gliding, this dinosaur has got to be the weirdest of all. Epidexipteryx was a very small animal, measuring only 25 centimeters long. The dinosaur almost certainly used its tail feathers as a display feature, as they would not exactly be useful for anything else. The large forward pointing teeth of the animal are actually similar to a few other theropods, and would probably have been adapted for hunting insects. The idea of a skin membrane to enable gliding comes from the recent discovery of another weird relative of Epidexipteryx called E. Chi, which possessed such a membrane. So it could be possible that Epidexipteryx looked like a tiny fluffy dragon with a dental problem. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. These are only a few of the many strange looking dinosaurs, so comment below which one you think is the weirdest. Also remember to follow me on social media and subscribe for more videos.